Hello to all of you beautiful souls. Peace on earth and love and light to you. Um, okay, you guys. Oh, I am Gabrielle Ether. Thank you for thank you for coming to my channel. I forgot that I was going to introduce myself each time. Okay. So everyone that's here now, this is a pick a card reading for what is spirit trying to create within me? This is um this is basically saying like I said, what is spirit trying to create create within me or with me? So that's what I'm going to name the video. But this is basically saying um, basically what spirit is trying to grow you up to or grow in you, grow within you. So this is all about growth. This reading is all about growth, okay? And um, I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a name right here. Don't pay attention to my nails because they are breaking off and stuff like that. So... Um, I'm going to give these names and uh, this is going to be called heart. This one is growth and this one is song. Heart, growth, song. So you guys be led to whatever you want to be led to and I'm going to talk a little bit. And um, basically this is just uh, what needs to be brought out of you basically. In order to go to the next level, what is spirit trying to bring um out of you okay so like i said this reading is basically going to be all about growth okay so and i named it what is the spirit trying to or what is the universe trying to create within you because sometimes when we get stuck it's because that spirit is trying to show us something or bring something out of us that we that we don't see is there and we get to a certain level in our lives and we're wondering what's going on like like aren't i doing everything that needs to be done well usually when you're going to another level it's something else that spirit has to you know bring out of you or you know um create with you basically just bring you into your new beginning and basically just make you a new person and i think this is very re relevant for this you know spring equinox season right for the spring equinox and just for this spring season and um this is like the day before astara or easter if you celebrate that or whichever one you celebrate so this reading is very relevant and i was going to actually do a reading specifically on that also so and i think i still am so we're just trying to see what spirit is trying to create within you so let's see um have you guys been led to a deck of cards yet <clears throat> excuse me i'm trying to get over this it's actually not a call it's my sinuses and uh, leave in the comment section below if you know how to get out of this situation like i don't know how to get over this situation like my ears are clogged my throat you guys know and as tourists we have like throat issues anyway so i always talk about my throat chakra problem and you guys i get hoarse like a lot that's a Taurus issue though leave in the comment section if you know any like medications that are good for this and um most of the time i only do holistic medicine so only if it's something natural the only time i do something unnatural is if i'm in just so much pain and i can't get out of it that's the only time have you guys been linked to your card yet let's go to um heart first Okay, so you guys, this is what spirit is trying to create within you. So, uh, <clears throat> funny, I was just talking about how this is the season for new beginnings and spirit is trying to bring something new out of you. And then um, the fertility and create and creativity card is here. And spirit, this is basically spirit telling you that they are trying to create something new within you and trying to bring out this different side of you. And I'm looking at this card, how this is a lady. And this, I don't know what this symbol, if this is just a specific symbol that I've never seen before, then you guys let me know. But I've never seen this symbol, this symbol before besides um, on this card. But I'm looking at this horse coming out her back. And I feel like this is exactly what spirit is trying to bring you into trying to and if horses any one of you guys is of uh, spirit animals then hey that's great this message is definitely for you i've definitely been interested in horses 
uh, and horses lately and i've been um in particularly looking at zebras lately you guys so and you guys know how horses are like you know when you look at them they look strong and they're so beautiful on the outside and then they're peaceful animals you know and they are also herbivores so maybe um spirit is trying to tell some of you guys that you need to be vegan like me <laughs> and maybe to each his own but this is a message this is just what i'm getting you don't have to do what i'm saying this this is just what instantly came up in me and that's what spirit is trying to make you even though you're such a beautiful person and strong on the outside spirit is trying to bring that into your inside spirit is trying to bring out this a horse like nature within you if anybody know any more about horses leave that in the comment section i would love to know and then maybe you can help someone else out too and if i would have known this was going to come through i would have did a little bit more research so now i am <laughs> and um i wasn't really drawn to this car but before i flipped it over spirit said um even though this is not the deck you was drawn to like listen to some things that you're gonna say and i'm like okay that does resonate with me some so i'm gonna definitely look up horses and you guys should too but from what the little that i know that's definitely like this that's definitely the example that spirit is trying to to tell you guys um for whatever light work that you have to do you're going to need to just stand confidently like a horse will you're going to have to be strong like a horse like a horse is you know and that's what spirit is trying to bring out of you that's what you're giving birth to right now and so for some of you it's definitely not literal birth and if you are pregnant then i'm not saying that uh, i'm not saying that i'm just not talking about you but i'm just saying for this particular car this is more of a spiritual birth and spirit wants to make you extra fertile during this time, okay? And I'm not talking about, well, okay, hold on. The message that I just got. If spirit is making you extra fertile during this time and you don't want any children, then be extra cautious because you are just going to be extra fertile in every aspect of your life. Because spirit is trying to bring it to birth out of you so many areas that that's in you. It's just like to... Too much is given, much is required. Have you guys heard that before? I first learned that in my Christ in the um Christian faith. And um and that's basically what spirit is trying to tell you guys. Too much is given, much is required because spirit has given you a lot. So spirit is trying to birth all of that out of you. Like you guys know you're like probably three life paths like me, number three life paths like me, and you are just here to create. Wow, that helped me as soon as I said it. Because <laughs> yeah, it's not Gabrielle that's talking to you, spirit. And you are here to create. And if you are not going down your life path, then that's what you need to be doing. Whatever your life path is, I suggest that you figure out your life path number. But a lot of you are creative people and you are here to create. If you're not doing anything um creatively, then you should you should be because then you'll be working outside of your life, your life your life path and things might not just work with you right you know <clears throat> and that's basically what spirit is trying to um <clears throat> excuse me you guys i'm going to be doing that a lot <laughs> in um this video because like i was telling you guys i am hoarse right now so that's basically what spirit is trying to tell you that during this time like it's like look at that one this is the first thing that you should be focused on and that you should know and maybe that's why i'm talking about this first because spirit is trying to just birth a lot out of you because there are there's a lot that they put in you so they're trying to get all that out of you and they want you to just focus on something but whichever thing that they lead you to you know don't get overwhelmed just focus on that one thing and do that because spirit is like okay now it's time for you to give birth to all of this creativity that we have in you but like I said, don't forget to how they're trying to bring like this horse like um this um horse like image. Not really image. You guys know what I'm saying. This um horse like symbolism, I guess, out of you. They're trying to make you more so like a horse. So look that up and see if you guys some of you guys probably have um horses around you are always drawn to horses and look horses up, you know. So
And then I was seeing this also, you guys. The spirit is really trying to get you prepared for more of a partnership to be more um it's like this might be some of you just you and your cat or you know just you by yourself and it's like spirit's trying to bring out a more vulnerable side of you to where you can like um be in love and accept love in you okay you guys i had to pause the video like i was saying that spirit is really just trying to get you into the position where and when spirit is trying to do this you might feel this happening you don't know that this is happening you might get into some awkward situations and some type of situations spirit is like creating these situations to put you in you guys where you might have seen that you're in these awkward like situations and you're probably like uh I'm trying to think of an, of an example where maybe you just had to uh be more vulnerable or um be more self-conscious than usual um show more of your sensitive side and th those of you who are like completely opposite of that <laughs> you probably know what i'm talking about you're like oh yeah i have been in situations like that lately where it's just been like so uneasy for me like i've had such an uneasy feeling in certain situations like spirit has actually put me in situations where i had to show my sensitive side i had to show my vulnerable side i had to cry a little bit and the reason spirit is put putting you in those uncomfortable situations because um in those uncomfortable situations is because they're trying to bring out bring out this um bring out basically a more gentler side of you a more sweeter side of you because love needs to come and actually need to come in for some of you guys so maybe some of you guys are libras who don't really work well without a partnership and spirit is trying to say okay since this is how you work better with a partnership we're trying to soften you up a little bit and um so you can receive a partner in your life because for some of you it might just work better for you it's not that you just um work better with a partner it just might be something that you don't know that you actually need you know so um I can say that it, that would definitely resonate with me because I know I've been told that, well, I know I'm like that. I know spirit has to kind of soften up my heart a little bit because most of the time I'm just fine single. And it's like I see the benefits sometimes when um, when I look at people in relationships, but most of the time I don't, I don't care. And you guys, I really feel like this is literal. Like, um... Just because the way I look at this, when I say literal, the way I look at this is like a lady dancing. And I don't know if some of you guys are dancers or something like that. Maybe just like to dance. And spirit wants to bring more of that out of you. Want to just more so uh, perfect, perfect your gift. Your gift. So that's what it is. Spirit really wants to perfect your gifts. And like I was saying a lot when it has to do with this, that's what spirit wants to bring um out of you so maybe some of you guys have found yourself in situations where you are making so many mistakes oh my gosh you guys that really resonates with me like i said i wasn't even drawn to this but spirit did say some of this stuff that i'm gonna say is gonna resonate with you and so look look at my hands right <laughs> like i've been trying to like you guys know i do my own nails and i've been wearing press ons and I don't want to go back to my comfort zone simply because it's a comfort zone and I want to like, I want to grow, right? So I've been trying to do like gel nails, the poly gel nails, and these are kind of old now. So I did these and I'm seeing what I like and I don't like because when I first doing press, started doing press ons, they were like, ugh. And so when I started doing designs, they were like, ugh. But I'm getting a little better with my designs now, so... You guys, I'm saying this because this is basically your message. So, listen to what I'm saying when it comes to me and my nails. So, like, I'm just basically learning. And this is what you guys are doing. Whatever your gift is. Maybe it is just dancing, literally dancing for, for you guys. But Spirit is saying we are trying to put you in situations so you can perfect your gift. So, you guys, I'm just doing this poly gel nails, right? And then last time I did them, like, 
first time I did them underneath the nails was like horrible and I'm showing like I hate for my nails to be dirty underneath them so don't think most of the time when you look underneath my nails you would never see them dirty but hey this I just got finished doing my daughter's hair this lotion <laughs> so but as you can see my nails are never dirty underneath but I could not do the underneath of my nails for nothing in the world and this is like my first the fourth time trying and I did it good that time <laughs> but um you guys like I was just telling my friend today I'm gonna go back to my um press ons because like I hate for my nails like I hate for my hands to like mess up like these poly gel nails are not as convenient as my press ons and I got so good at them where my press ons would never fall off these supposed to not fall off and they are falling off because I don't know how to make them stay on so are you have you guys been in situations like that with where like you have a gift and Whatever gift you're doing now, you decided to step into something new. You decided to go up another level and, you know, like kind of upgrade yourself in, within your gift and what you're doing now. Or whatever, maybe whatever career you was in, you are now decided to go up to another level and you're making all kinds of mistakes that you would have never made before. Don't get hard on yourself because spirits like saying, okay, we're just trying to get you to perfect your gift. And no one's ever going to be perfect, I'm especially looking at this right here. No one's ever going to be perfect, you guys never but spirit wants to wants you to become more um just trying to perfect your gift a little bit more so i'm looking at this too like <clears throat> like this whole message is saying like fix flexibility within structure just know that you know even some of you guys probably are perfectionists just like i am so while spirit is trying to perfect your gift while spirit is trying to perfect your gift, they always they're also trying to tell you to be flexible. Don't just get so hard on yourself and feel like you have to be perfect all the time. And this is basically it, you guys. That's what spirit is trying to bring out of you, okay? So, like I said, trying to reverse you to being um into more like um horse like and just um growing a lot out of you and just getting your bringing your creative side out. Like I said, kind of like easing some of the um hurt from your past if i didn't say that easing some of the hurt from your past and kind of like trying to put you in situations where you are vulnerable to like to loosen you up and then um and uh, kind of soften your heart to get you ready for a partner and like i was saying try to perfect your gift and master your gift okay with also being uh with also being having flexibility within structure also just knowing that you'll never just be perfect perfect okay <laughs> so that's all for you who were led to was this hard yeah this one was hard i think and i forgot what this one was it's going to be in the timestamp. for those of you who were led to this one i forgot what i named it since i've been on the other one for so long let's see what spirit is trying to create within you my light went out on this phone. I hope it's not showing in the in the camera. <laughs> you guys, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is like a good time to be talking about this. And I was going to do a separate video about fertility and creativity and new beginnings and stuff like that. You know, specifically for the spring equinox and, you know, Astara. So, um the holiday of star or the weekend or pagan holiday of star or the christian holiday easter i was gonna do a uh, um video specifically on that and these cards are kind of like the last deck had had a fertility and creativity card and this deck does too because you guys like i would say this is just something new that spirit is trying to bring out out of you so spirit is definitely taking you guys somewhere else and i just heard like i mean once i first saw this spirit is moving you guys somewhere some of you guys are not prepared to move spirit is like prepare to move because in this next place, it's like, oh my gosh, you guys, don't get so stuck where you're at right now. So you guys are really comfortable with where you're at right now. And it's like, you're, you're, if you're confused about anything when it comes to moving, or even if you don't know that you're supposed to move, it's because that you're 
kind of uh, planted. You feel like you're planted where you're at now. Or you're just really comfortable where you're at now. So let me explain that when I say comfortable. Because when I say comfortable, some people feel like that means that, okay, I'm at peace. Or, you know, I don't have nothing going on and I like where I'm at. That's not what comfortable means. Comfortable means, in this sense, in this sense when you're staying comfortable... It means that you have gotten complacent. It means that you don't want to try. You don't want to put in the extra effort because where you at is easy where you at, okay? It's not that you like being where you at. It's not that you even have peace where you at. It, but it's much easier to stay where you are now rather than actually trying to move forward. Okay, so this is a literal move when it comes to... From one house to another house, one state to another state, one town to another state. This is, I mean, one town to another town. This is also career. This is, uh, some of you guys uh, can't stand the career you're in now, but you have to move because it's the only way you're going to grow. This is a time, like I said with the last day, this is definitely a time where spirit is trying to, where you are being extra fertile. And I had this word into the last people if you're just extra fertile during this time you guys if you don't want to have children i looked up as 155 this is definitely oh and then when i look down it's 10 55 on the clock <laughs> you guys when i put when i add all these videos together the clock is not going to say 10 55 okay so just to let you know but it's 10 55 right now on the clock that's how long i've been doing this video but in real life it's 155 wow so <clears throat> definitely definitely a need for change you guys and i was just talking about that and if you don't want to get pregnant let's go back to what i'm saying then make sure that you protect yourself because you are extra further during this time spirit really wants to create a lot in you and bring out a lot in you and spirit is actually just um um just impregnating you basically with a lot of things so they can come out of you out of you and you definitely are giving birth to a lot right now you're gonna come out like as gold see how beautiful this image is you guys that's you right now and that's what spirit is trying to create in you or bring out of you and i just feel like this this card maybe some of you guys were led to the first one too because like you guys um are really like um are really just about to come into your own spirit is saying prepare for this some of you guys are just not preparing spirit really wants you to come into your own really try to create in you you know who you are supposed to be some of you guys may be three life paths like me and if you are a three life path what you need to do is to be in something creative if you don't know what your life path is do what's in your life path if you're not doing with it what's what's like what your life path is doing then you're not going down the right path okay if you want to know if you're going down the right path and i see if you're doing what your life path number says that you should be doing okay that's just my advice to you but you're grown you can do whatever you want and but mainly spirit is like we're trying to send you to this place of growth you're not going to grow where you at right now prepare and it seemed like maybe some of you guys was preparing because i feel like some of you guys like are really just on the edge of this growth as if this is already you right here something stopped you and made you um just stop preparing preparing and you must repair no doubt about it if you was wanting no doubt about it you are going to move to this next place okay no doubt about it you need to move to to another place if you don't know you need to move from where you are now and you guys know if it's location or if it's a job or something like that or not maybe it's even a relationship you're not going to grow because you are out of you are you are you're out of order you're out of space your this your energy is no longer where you at now you have to go to a place that's going to like um you have to go to a place you guys that's going to connect with the energy that you're on with it that that vibrates with this at the same level you own that's gonna have to it's going to have to have the same vibration, the same frequency as you, you know. That's the place. So when you go to a place, if it's not, if you don't feel it, if you don't feel it, if you're at that job and you don't feel it, then you know what? Your energy is not connecting with you. You're not vibing with that place, okay? Leave that place and go to another one, okay? If it's a job or career, if it's a guy, whatever it is, we have a lot of cards to go, go through on this one. So... 
I don't know what spirit is saying on this one right now. I've been looking at this cute little card. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see what spirit is saying. I'm not getting anything. I'm getting a little bit. When I talk out stuff, you guys, my friends will tell you, I can kind of, spirit starts talking then. A little bit I'm getting is, um, one thing spirit is trying to bring out of you is you feeling like, that you always have to be kind of um uh the independent one or the strong one and oh my gosh since the same reading as the first one spirit wants to bring you down wants to make you more of a okay no this is okay this is where it's different from the first one spirit was really trying to soften that person up this one this is not more about you softening up. This is just more about you kind of coming down to your partner's level. Maybe some of you guys are already in relationships. And you have to um, see how to work with people, okay? Because you guys, uh, <clears throat> for some of you guys, hierarchy versus partnership. Some, some of you guys have, actually have to come up. You're too laid back. You're too have... Um, comfortable with liking people to be over you and showing you how to do things and you need to come up and be on the, your partner's level if your partner is too controlling over you i don't feel like that is healthy for you your partner should meet you halfway okay so if you just do not agree with that then you're on the wrong reading i can only tell you what spirit is telling me okay spirit tells me stuff based on what i agree with that's the only, that's the way all of us work so if you don't agree with that then i'm so sorry that this is the wrong video for you because this is exactly what i'm hearing spirit saying if your partner comes off as too controlling that is the wrong partner for you because when it comes to you you need to kind of come up, you know, and work on your child's, uh, I'm saying child because these are child's, <laughs> work on your partner's loved one. For some of you guys are kind of, kind of the controlling type, which will be me, okay? And you kind of like, uh, are like, uh, you kind of come off as like alpha sometimes and you need to come down and meet your partner on a certain level and some some of you guys if you don't understand that you have to come down then you might not meet the partner you're with you, you need to be with if you're single and some of you guys if you're single if you don't come up you know within yourself then you might not meet the partner that you're supposed to with be with if you're single and if you're in a relationship then some of you guys gotta come down when it comes to you being just so independent and i can do this all by myself i don't need nobody you know just kind of like boss like you know you kind of have to come down a little bit and work with someone now don't come down so low that this person is now taking over you because that's what i'm saying i'm saying equal okay another person has to come up some okay so see what else spirit is saying one of my favorite cards because i just think it's so pretty spirit is definitely trying to create within you um <clears throat> you just being uh, being more confident within yourself so spirit is definitely putting you in situations where you have to work on your heart and your mind trying to enlighten you in situations where you have to see yourself as beautiful no matter what you know putting you in very vulnerable situations where spirit is like stripping you naked sometimes where that's what would be how you would feel in certain situations and some of you guys probably have been in situations where you just feel like incredibly stripped from everything because spirit is trying to just make bring out of you and um actually like Put into your heart, put into your mind what a beautiful person you are, what a strong person you are. Just trying to bring you up with, and when it comes to confidence. And I'll say the same thing as this. It's like a very confident picture. You have to realize, you guys, when it comes to yourself, every time I get a self-expression card, I'm pretty much looking at it like where spirit is trying to bring you into your own. Bring out a more stronger person, a more confident person. Some of you guys, oh my gosh, I just feel like the energy that I'm feeling with this is some of you guys are just this type of person. You're just really strong anyways. And if spirit is, has to tell you that they are trying to bring out a more confident person in you, sometimes um, when you're strong, it's sometimes when you just come off really strong. Sometimes it's because you are lacking confidence when it comes to some stuff. But hey, I can tell, like, this is just you. 
you're strong in general like you were made like this okay so don't get that twisted you were actually just made like this but the spirit wants to bring out something in you that's going to make you um just more confident the spirit is saying like the way that you are of course be like that but stand in your truth so like I said, the spirit is trying to bring out an even more confidence out of you. Then that's what they're saying. They're saying to stand in your truth. The things that you are about. Wow, well, just really focus on this. This is you. Don't budge. <laughs> I always talk about be um when I don't want to be like a Taurus and I'm stubborn sometimes. Sometimes spirit is saying be like this. Be like a Taurus. And some of you guys don't know Taurus. It's just don't budge sometimes. And it's so crazy. And almost just don't make any sense. Sometimes how much a Taurus don't budge. So <laughs> the spirit is definitely like. um, Be be very um stern in your words. And don't change for nobody. This is what spirit is trying to bring out of you and create in you a person that's like spirit is taking who you already are this strong person and actually saying no but you're gonna say look at her just standing so confidently with her stick like she's saying i said what i said <laughs> you guys know like the nini leaks the meme so that's basically what spirit is trying to bring out of you you guys so um <laughs> And spirit wants you to hear clearly, channel clearly, self-expression. Definitely spirit wants you to hear clear, clearly. If some of you guys are musicians or singers, some spirit wants to bring that out of you too. Wants to more so perfect your gift. I just want to say that. And then also spirit is trying to get you to basically, like it says, channel clearly and hear clearly that's what spirit is bringing out of you so maybe you guys have been in situations where you um where you feel like you haven't been hearing too well um intuitively intuitively you haven't been hearing what spirit is saying too well well spirit is doing it so you can start to hear what spirit is saying exactly I'm trying to get this to focus it won't focus no more oh well well, spirit wants you to um, have it put you in situations where you don't really know who's talking. Is it yourself? Is it spirit? Is it a low vibrational being? They put you in that situation. And some of you guys are like, oh, yeah, I've been there before. Just because they want you to um, be able to hear them clearly. And they want you to be able to know, okay, when I heard that, that was not you know, I, I and I thought it was positive. I thought there was spirit, but it wasn't spirit. Now I see there wasn't spirit that, that told me that. And it doesn't, it don't even matter. If some of you guys are psychic, psychic, it doesn't matter if you've been a psychic for 50 years. We can always grow because we're never, especially in this human body, we're never going to reach the level that, that you know, our um, spirit guys are on. So we're always growing. So if you heard wrong, you know what, just kind of lose some of that pride. I know it hurts sometimes. <laughs> I've had to tell myself that if you heard wrong, you heard wrong. And if you heard wrong, it's actually a good thing because now you're saying, okay, now I know what spirit is talking about. Just don't um, become the person that never learns from the lesson, you know. So you're learning from, from your lessons. You're like, okay, when I was in that situation, I realized I heard, maybe you're like, that's so Raven, <laughs> or Raven's home, but it's called now, where well, you actually hear right, you see the vision, the vision right, but then you interpret it wrong, that's okay, <laughs> that's okay, you guys, because that's all spirit is doing, spirit is pur purposely putting you in those situations, so um, you can actually grow, and actually learn how to strengthen your um strengthen your senses and strengthen your instincts and hear clearly especially if you are psychic and um so i'm going to just to suggest that you work on balancing your crown chakra and your third eye chakra okay and for some of you your heart chakra also so that is all for this second one i'm going to go to this last one i think i named it song so i don't think this have a lot of cards Let's see what spirit is trying to create within you and bring out of you. Is this literally only two cards? Did I forget to put any cards here? Wow. 
did I forget to put, well, you know what, I feel, definitely feel a peace. So if this is your only message, then this is your only message because I definitely feel a peace about this, um, these cards. Like, I don't think I was supposed to add any more cards. So that's good because I'm tired of talking. <laughs> this one won't be that long. We'll see. Because I don't even know what spirit is really saying. Immediately I picked up though. Who has amethyst? If you have amethyst, work with your amethyst more. Okay. So when I saw this deck. 